Hello everyone. Welcome to Missy Hyatt Beauty Over 50. Today we're going to be talking about face fillers. There is Juvederm and Restylane and we're going to talk about both of these. I just had some put in about two weeks ago into the nasal labia folds, the, the lines that you get right here. And she put in a little bit here and I think a little bit in my chin. I really don't see the much that she put in there, but I really notice a difference here and here. It helped a lot. Years ago, about 20 years ago, when I worked for a plastic surgeon, he put in silicone there. And I don't know if it disappeared or moved or whatever it did, but I mean, it stayed for a long time, but then it went away. I do not do that. Whatever you do, do not use silicone in any form. It's not approved by the FDA. You can probably, might get it in France, but I wouldn't do that. But let's talk about Juvederm and Restylane. Juvederm, she said, was too light for me. So she used the Restylane on me. Restylane. And it's, I guess it's a thicker and it lasts for about a year and it's expensive. So just the few areas that I had, and this is Tallahassee, Florida prices. I'd hate to know what New York City prices are, but it was $1,600. So it's a little expensive, but the Juvederm, it can do your cheeks, lines, lips, everything. So does the Restylane. They're just two I believe they're from two different companies or either they're the same company and one stronger than the other. I'm not sure. I didn't even ask about that. I just wanted to let everyone know that the fillers do work good. I mean, they don't last forever and they are expensive, but you can get really good results. And this is another thing. If you go to get it done, go to a doctor's office. I don't care if it's a plastic surgeon or a dermatologist or whatever. And even if it's his PA or his nurse practitioner doing it, at least they're licensed and you're in a setting, in a doctor's setting. I mean, I've heard about Botox parties and Juvederm parties, and that's not a, even if she's a nurse, not a place to get it done because you want to put on the numbing gel and sit with it for like 30 minutes and you want the lighting correct and you just want to be in a doctor's office you know i'd pay a little bit more and go to a doctor's office so anyway that's my take on restylane and juvederm until next time everyone please subscribe and thanks for watching